The International Math Olympiad is always a great source of really nice maths problems, and this one is no exception. The problem statement is kind of long, but we'll take it step by step. So a line in the plane is called sunny if it is not parallel to any of the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line x plus y is equal to zero. So sunny lines are kind of defined in terms of what is not a sunny line. Um, the ones that are not sunny are ones that are parallel to the x-axis, or horizontal lines like that, parallel to the y-axis, vertical lines, or the line x plus y is equal to zero. It's going to be this diagonal line with the gradient of negative one. Um, any line parallel to that is also not sunny. So anything that's not parallel to any of those three will be a sunny line. Okay, so we know what a sunny line is now. But the next part of the problem is going to take a few reads. Let n three or greater be a given integer. Determine all non-negative integers k such that there exist n distinct lines in the plane, satisfying both of the following. For all positive integers a and b with a plus b less than or equal to n plus one, the point a, b is on at least one of the lines and exactly k of the n lines are sunny. Now, I know when I read this, I had to read it three, four, maybe five times um, to get my head around it. And I think the easiest way to understand it is to just start from the simplest possible case when n is equal to three. So what would the conditions be in that case? Um, n plus one is four. So we want anything where a plus b less than or equal to four, all those points a, b have to be on one of our three lines. And exactly k of those three lines must be sunny. All right, so if we draw a little diagram then we want to figure out, can we have k equals one sunny line? Can we have k equals two sunny lines or k is equal to three? So we're interested in, this, in the points where the sum of the coordinates is less than or equal to four. So if we draw the line x plus y is equal to four, it'll be this diagonal line going through zero, four, and four, zero. And we're interested in the integer points uh, below that. Probably a grid would help here. So here is the line and there's going to be six grid points. Um, positive integers, so 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, uh, yeah, there's six of them, <laughs> okay. Now all these points must be on one of our three lines. Is it possible to do that with one sunny line and two non-sunny lines? Actually it is. If I just draw these two, two non-sunny boring lines here, I can put any gradient through that that last line and that will be my sunny line. So definitely it is possible to do with one sunny line and two non-sunny lines. All right, what about k equals two sunny lines? So if I think about where my sunny lines could be and how many points they could pass through, um, they can't just pass through one point each because I'd have then four points left and each non-sunny line can only pass through at most three points in the situation where n is equal to three. So that's clearly not going to work. Uh, one of the sunny lines then must pass through at least two points. So there's a sunny line, for example, that passes through exactly two points. And there's going to be two more possibilities for sunny lines that pass through exactly two points. And there's no sunny lines that pass through more than two points. Now, what I've just drawn up there actually is three sunny lines that pass through all of the points. So this is actually a solution for k is equal to three. That's good. Um, put it in the bank and then go back to thinking about k is equal to two. For k equals two sunny lines, um, you can try it, but actually it's not possible. Um, I kind of just brute forced it, noticing that a sunny line can only cross through at most two points. So either you got it, your two sunny lines have got to pass through one and two respectively, and there's no way to do that um, with the remaining three points being on a one single non-sunny line. Um, the other way is if you have two sunny lines that cross through two points each, three sunny lines, um, if you choose any two of them, there's only three ways to do that, and the remaining two points are not on a non-sunny line. All right, so let's think about n is equal to four now. Um, for k is equal to one, it's actually very straightforward. The similar arrangement as we had previously, three horizontal lines and one sunny line, and, and you're happy you're done. And you can probably see how for any value of n, k is equal to one is always gonna be possible with a similar construction. Now k is equal to three is also possible, building on what we had from when n is equal to three. What we can do is those three sunny lines for the n equals three triangle there, and then one horizontal line to, to kill off the last four points. 
So that's good. And again, you can probably see how we could just keep on adding more horizontal lines to do the same thing when n is equal to five, six, seven, and so on. So that's good. k is equal to one and k is equal to three are then gonna be solutions for all n. We can put those in the bank. And again, come back to this tricky case when k is equal to two. Um, k is equal to four is actually going to be easier to think about. It's not gonna be possible because there's actually just too many points. <clears throat> So we have 10 points and each sunny line can only go through at most two, uh, at most two points. So with four times two, that would only cover eight points. It's not gonna be possible to cover 10 points with four sunny lines. So coming back to the k equals two case, after trying for a while, I felt it's not possible. And then trying to think of a nice way to prove why, uh, why is this not possible? Um, so again, coming back to the fact that those two sunny lines Again, can only cover uh, at most two points each. When n is equal to four, there's no way to have a sunny line that goes through th three or more points. So with two times two is four, that leaves six more points to be covered with the two non-sunny lines. And then trying to think about, well, how, how could we do that? And what I thought was, well, what if one of those lines goes through four points? And what you notice is you're left with a, the n equals three triangle above it. So if a non-sunny line crossed four of the points, you would actually need two sunny lines to satisfy the n equals three case. Now, it doesn't matter if that four point sunny line is horizontal, vertical, or even diagonal. In all three cases, you're gonna be left over with a sub triangle that's the same as the n is equal to three case. So we wanted k equals two sunny lines and k equals two non-sunny lines. I've used one of my non-sunny lines which means I have one more left and two sunny lines left to fill in that uh, sub triangle for the n equals three case, which I already showed painfully before that it was not possible. <laughs> so what that means then is each non-sunny line must cover um, three or less points. So if each non-sunny line uh, only covers at most three points, think about how could you cover this line? Because you can't have a horizontal line going through any two of those points because then it would cover all four of them. So you actually need four non-horizontal lines to cover the four points in that bottom row. What that means is you actually can't have any horizontal lines um, in your construction because as soon as you have one horizontal line, well, it can't be through the bottom row. And if it's through any of the other rows, then it's wasted one of your four lines that you need for the bottom row. So you can't have any horizontal lines at all. And the same argument works for the vertical lines. If you wanna cover that leftmost vertical row, uh, you can't have any vertical lines in your construction because you need four non-vertical lines to cover that, that column on the left there. And the same argument works for the diagonal edge. Which means that uh, if n is equal to four and each non-sunny line covers at most three points, you can't have any non-sunny lines which means all four lines would have to be sunny. So this, this argument actually does more than proving that k is equal to two is not gonna be possible. Um, it actually proves that, that no other values of k are gonna be possible unless you could cover all the grid um, with k equals n sunny lines, which you, which you can't do. Um, and here's why. The total number of points is gonna be the nth triangular number. So n times n plus one over two. In this diagram, I've got uh, n is equal to five and there's 15 points there, which is five times six divided by two. Um, a sunny line can only cover at most n plus one on two of those points. To see why, think about the gradients of the non-sunny lines. Uh, you wanna cover as many points as possible and only the lines with gradients one negative two or negative a half can cover, well in this diagram, three points, but in general, n plus one over two points. If we look at the line with gradient negative two, for example, you start at the very top um, and then you've got to skip the second row, but you can cover the third row, uh, skip the fourth row and cover the fifth row. So you can cover sort of every second row, but including the ends, that gives you um, n plus one over two points. But that's the best you can do starting at this point um, starting at this point similarly, or you can do this diagonal here uh, with the gradient of one. Again, it's only three lines that can cover that many points. So for n is greater than three, uh, you can't cover all the points with only k equals n sunny lines. Um, but then as we hinted at before, if each non-sunny line covers less than n points, 
then um, all lines end up having to be sunny because you're left with, for example, you're left with this bottom row and you need N lines to cover um, the, the end points in that bottom row. I want... What do you want? Oh, I want... I don't know, I mean it. All right, so if each non-sunny line covers less than N points, then actually it ends up being the case that all lines uh, would have to be sunny because... Look at that bottom row. You need N non-horizontal lines to cover the N points in that bottom row. Look at that left column. You need N non-vertical lines to cover the N points in that column. And same thing for this diagonal. You can't have any horizontal, vertical, or, or um, you know, lines parallel to x plus y is equal to 1, which means all of your lines have to be sunny. We already show this is not possible, so this is a contradiction. Whoa. But I'm not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, all that. Sh so what that shows is that at least one non-sunny line must cover n lines. But if that's the case, you're left with a smaller subtriangle um, with with n minus one points. So the only k that are going to work are the ones that worked for your smaller triangle are uh, n minus one. So the only ones that are going to work for n equals four are the ones that worked for n equals three. The only ones that worked for n equals five are the ones that worked for n equals 4, and so on. And we know the only ones that worked for n equals 3 are k equals 1 and k equals 3. <laughs> and thanks to me checking the solutions of other people that posted before me, <laughs> uh, k equals 0, I almost forgot. We're talking about non-negative integers, so k is equal to 0 also counts. Generally what I do with these is try the problem myself because um, I enjoy having the challenge of having a go but then just check the solutions to make sure I'm on the right track. So I checked it with the Dedekind Cuts video and his solution is similar but um, slightly different and, and definitely more rigorous. <laughs> his videos are excellent. Uh, but hopefully, you know, you've enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up. And what else should we say? Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> All right, that'll do.